Okay, this is um, on breaking of the Samsung Galaxy S3 Frontier. Um, I tried to um, install the different uh, firmware and it broke it. So basically, it was stuck in the it was stuck in the um, the download mode that you cannot connect using the Wi-Fi. So what I did was um, follow the instruction online um, that you can use a USB connection and um, this is the result of that. So basically you have to get a USB cable that have these colors, the, the white, the green, the red, and the black. And you have to connect them exactly like that. And once you do, and you connect to your computer, it's going to be recognized um, as you can see from here. Um, so right now I'm installing the the original firmware then um, so I can use the Wi-Fi or better yet still um, uh, do the the uh, the reactivation lock removal so that is what's going on right now as you can see the process is being done um, so the problem what caused the the um, what caused the problem of the um, of the watch being stuck in the, the download mode was that during the Wi-Fi installation of the of the OS or the firmware it got disconnected so it threw the whole thing off so that's the reason why I fell in that as you can see everything is done it's passed and I will I will check the watch to see what's going on with it one second So I'm gonna wait for the watch to reconnect to the computer. So as you can see, it was successful. Um, port uh, removed, reset is okay. So the watch will reconnect to the computer okay one second it's booting up I'll show you there you go the watch is booting up see right now um, the watch is fully connected as you can see I still have the activation lock on um, so the step is to take that off and the watch is charging as a new has been connected to the charger so if you follow the, the step co correctly you will get the functionality that you want you will be able to connect to the USB and everything should work okay so we're going to um, remove that activation lock I'm sorry um, focus on that yeah we're gonna remove that activation lock one second okay so one more thing um, before we if you use this to do it um, the USB connection okay um, you would need um, to install the Samsung uh, the Samsung um, USB drivers you should which can be downloaded from their website if you if you use a USB connection this type of connection uh, once you use this connection um, once you're done everything is good what, what, what I would advise you if you are stuck in the the download mode and you cannot get into the Wi-Fi to actually you know reinstall the operating system um, never do not disconnect the USB until you are fully done with the with the watch okay so right now I'm going to take this guy off um, with heat and everything should come off um, and the watch should be back to normal alright so that's it okay so as you can see this is a process of removing the connection okay so with this heated up um, you have to actually hold the ends of this to pull away from it otherwise it will still it will get stuck and you you want to get enough of the the lead from the from the from the pad as much as possible you really don't have to clean it up but you want to be able to close the wash when you're done so get most of it off and do not use do not let the heat sit on it for too long or it might fall off you don't want that neither okay so um, I'm going to remove it okay 
if you touch it it's gonna come right off so I'm not gonna do that uh, I, need, I need both hands so we'll be doing that in a second all right so I'll show you once it's done okay so so I, this is what you want, you want to avoid you want to avoid this those two pads from touching okay so be careful when you're taking it off not to get them too close to each other otherwise it will just touch and now I'm going to clean that up okay <laughs> 